of things you never had Given the chance of a lifetime, there ain't no turning back Ask yourself, could you spend it a day? If you could start over with all the things you never had Given the chance of a lifetime, there ain't no turning back Ask yourself, could you spend it in a day? Atlanta, Georgia, family friendly, fine dining, amazing architecture, and a mecca for music, film, and the arts. Welcome to Can You Spend It? I'm your host, Lanye Lakey, and we have searched the country in search of four contestants that can not only spend $50,000, but win $50,000. We had open auditions in Atlanta, Nashville, Dallas, Chicago, Birmingham, and New York in search of four people that can spend this money. Let's see what some of our contestants had to say about spending $50,000. I am a natural bodybuilder. I am a competitor also. Uh, competed for three years. Uh, last July was my last competition and that's actually how I got into modeling. I was picked up by the Kathy Larson agency at uh, my last competition. I am extremely passionate about one thing. Of course I'm a registered nurse. I need to add that in. I assist my husband at the, at the practice. He is a physician. Uh, but there's one thing that I'm extremely passionate about and uh, because I can't come up with an excuse for it and I, for anyone is, um, you know, you, you're in the emergency room, your, your family member's been into an accident, you know, we have to come out and tell you that they're deceased. Is she serious? What is she talking about? Uh, get that kind of in your mind. I'm hoping there's a point to all of this. But then we have to tell you that they were killed by a drunk driver. So that makes it even worse. I hope she wasn't a public speaker in her previous life or something. So what I would do with $50,000, I would find the 10 most largest nightclubs in the United States. I would give them each, no, five, and I would, it was five. I have no idea what that has to do with spending $50,000, but okay. I would give them each $10,000 for one, their busiest night, have one sit at the door, and someone that was about to go out and drink and drive, I made. And instead of doing that, I would give them $1,000. I think it's time for me to get into the first rule. Rule number one is you cannot give the money away. Coming up next, let's take a look at a contestant that will tell us exactly how to spend $50,000. Stay tuned. Be the last to know. Get it faster with 4G. It's the network of possibilities. AT&T. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm not sure exactly what happened here last night. I was out helping people save money on their car insurance. Two more. Are you doing it? You doing? Are they doing great? Here we go. Hi. Come swim with me. Keep going, Richard. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Yes, we did.
Today, we celebrate a president that brought Americans together. Celebrate an end to our dependence on American energy. The oil you recently discovered off the shores of Brazil, we want to be one of your best customers. A president with the courage to tell us, we will not rest. I will not rest. We will not rest. Who consults with key decision makers. The CEO of BP. I have not spoken to him directly. To tackle the great challenges of our generation. And I'm picking Kansas. I think that Kansas has more firepower and devised a breakthrough method to honor his promise. To cut the deficit by half by the end of my first term in office. Spend more. We got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. President Obama, four more years. <laughs> Could you spend it in a day? Welcome back to Can You Spend It, where four contestants will have 24 hours to spend $50,000. Let's meet Walter and see how he would spend $50,000. Uh, one of the ways I thought about doing it is to go into a grocery store somewhere, especially around this time. Uh, one of the major ones, and any of the people who are in line or in the store at that time, go in there, you can cover all of their expenses, everything that they have in their buggies. That's one way. That brings us to rule number two. Positive spending. You may spend money on things that can be consumed. <laughs> One thing I can say about this next contestant is that he's definitely honest. And what do you like to do in your spare time? Play my guitar, ride my Harley, pet my dog, make a sis up in my lap. Okay. What's his name? Who? Tonk, did you really forget the name of your dog? Who? Oh, What's the, the dog. <laughs> I know this, it's a uh, uh, dog, <laughs> um, I can't remember, I know my daggum dog's name, I swear <laughs> I do. Well I get brain cramps sometimes, <laughs> you know, I set up, maybe set up a little college farm for the kids, first thing I do is fix their teeth, I want to do something with fix, I want everybody's teeth fixed. <laughs> Rule number three, no assets. Sorry, Tonk, I guess you won't be getting those teeth. Now I know that the ladies know how to spend $50,000 in 24 hours. Let's take a look and see how they will spend it. How would you spend $50,000 in 24 hours? Now let me give you some rules. Okay. You can't give it away, you can't donate it, and you can't buy anything that becomes an asset. So how would you spend it? My name is Latrina Godfrey, I'm 28, and I live in Latonia, Georgia. So tell me, how would you spend $50,000 in 24 hours? Oh, that was, that was funny. That was really funny. All I heard was crickets. Come on, ladies. I thought you guys knew how to spend $50,000. What happened? Could you spend it in a day? Oh, baby, check this out. Hey, come on. You want a little chippy? You want a Dorito? Are you hungry? Come on, get a Dorito. Babe, don't hurt my dog. Come on, get a chip. Things in life are messy. 
It's fun to get clean. Who said salads can't be hot? The new Cranberry Apple Walnut Grilled Chicken Salad. One of three new premium salads at Carl's Jr. Guys, I got an idea. We open on a cheerleader. Could you spend it in a day? My name is Kimberly Benz. I'm 38 years old and all around fabulous person. I think I would try and charter a seat on a trip to the moon. That would be an experience. I just would need to try and have a trip to the moon. I mean, everything else you can get, you know, you can work a job and earn money and buy a purse or buy a car or whatever. But a trip to the moon? Yeah. Rule number four, you cannot leave the city. And that definitely includes the moon.